Oh ho ho! Welcome back to another video like this, where we're going to do a challenge. And one of the things that people said in my last challenge video was, this is all well and good, but why don't you try and, you know, step it up? So let's just quickly hit record on Shadow Play. there we go. Why don't you try and step it up? And so for this episode, whilst I fix the framing of the camera, I thought, why don't we continue with the theme of flying underneath things, but uh, go through the Monarch. Was, I think that was like the most suggested challenge. So we can't do that. So let's just, uh, no. let's load up our save and go from there. Uh, here we go. Right, so the stages I plan on doing this, the first thing we're going to do is ask the Discord server what they would like me to put through the Mud Arch. So now we've done that, <laughs> we'll make a quick space station. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. A, because I don't want this video, the focus of this video is not the space station's construction, right? So I think just like uh, the science module would be the, the science lab will be the key thing to have. Everyone has to have a Capola module. Uh, we'll have a uh, know, fuel tank. We'll Reaction wheels to it. How much LV is that? Two thousand. We got too much LV, really. If if not the, if anything, we got too much. We'll add some monopropellant thrusters, I guess, just to help facilitate our control. But we probably won't need them. And we can add some solar arms, I suppose. Now the trick is, right? You clip it onto the front like so, like so, and we'll stick this here. Oh, no. We, I mean, this is like pure overkill for a MUN station. People, this is not an original challenge. Uh, the great Scott Manley himself has done this challenge. But I don't think anyone has built a space station going through it. So hey, I've got that going for me. People have done way more impressive things. I think the most impressive was probably the one, that guy that like docked two craft through the MUN arch. I don't really know how to top that. Well, I do. Just build a ship that's basically exactly the same size as the Monarch. Maybe like sands three meters so it can actually clear it. I feel like a space station orbiting through the Monarch would be quite funny. Obviously, unfortunately, because of the way celestial bodies rotate in space, uh, it won't be a stable orbit. And this will be called Space Station Archway. Alpha 7. It's a good name, strong name. I feel like it's wide enough that it would be kind of challenging to fit through. So in terms of the, that's, this is going to be the craft that goes through it. I feel like it needs one final feature though. Now this is perfect. So we've got our station design now. So now we need to add a couple more modules. So we're just going to save this <laughs> as Space Station Archway Alpha 7. We'll stick it here. So what did we have? We had a little, we had a little, little... Okay. Then we'll just, uh, you know, strut it all. So we have our vessel. Now we need to kind of build this into a rocket. So let's build it into a rocket. So we have our rocket. I feel like we should probably offset that a little bit though. Just so my life isn't horrible, we'll just get rid of it. We'll put a bare bone on so we can offset it a bit more cleanly. So let's get that arrow. That's pretty much dead on. This is like the most ridiculous looking thing ever. Lower fuel tank, that's fine. That's probably overkill. It definitely is overkill. But overkill is fine. I'd rather have I'd rather have it than not need it, as it were. I'd say we've got a fairly fine ship. So I'm ready to go.
Right, so let's get a little space program looked up. Right, so here we go. I'm gonna fold up the engines like so. I don't really know if I'm doing Australian or South African at this point. So we're gonna go three, a two, a one. We have lift off. So guys, welcome back to another. Oh god, I wasn't really looking at the screen. So um, I mean, for the launch, it's going to be fairly straightforward. It's just going to be a launch. Uh, tipping over. So don't be too worried about me. Where? Why is it only Jebediah in the ship? I specifically. This is vodka, by the way. Hey, <laughs> I am. Um, it's not. I specifically put lots of kerbals in there. We go. Right, let's try that again. Oh yes, that's right. You you thought I'd forgotten that I have a flight suit? Wrong, son. Um. Right. Oh, and now I can't see anything again. That's fine. This is fine. Everything is red again. So I can't really see my surface speed. It's kind of filtered out by these goggles, but I'm gonna just guess that we're doing fine enough. I feel like we're going to get faster, actually. Oh well. At the end of the day, this is clearly a very over-designed rocket, considering it doesn't even need to land on the Mun. Or at least it only needs to land a very, very lightweight unmanned probe on the Mun. Again, that's not the, it's not the, it's not the focus of the mission, though. So I, I've, um, I wasn't really thinking of what I was doing. I wasn't thinking. We've tipped over a little bit too soon. But it's okay, we have the power to compensate. So uh, let's just coast here to like our time to apoapsis reaches like in a minute. I don't know. So um, I don't really know if I've introduced this video properly. I feel like you guys know I'm not about right. Maybe I'll have edited it. Maybe, maybe I'll have edited it in such a way. I really need to learn how to speak slowly. I, I feel, I hope I've edited it. Edited it. That's a really hard word. Edited it. Say that five times fast. I can't even say it five times slow. Oh god, I wasn't looking at my orbit. We've got a quite a steep ascent now. Doesn't it matter, doesn't it matter. We'll just fly flat for a bit. We'll just wait for this stage to burn out. The stage is burned out. Bada boom. I think the staging was messed up. Right. Oh, maybe it is. What do I know? Let's get into space and then figure it out. So we don't need to... In fact, let's just... Uh, but there we go. Oh, no! There we go. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay. So, let's just burn time. 29, even so. Okay, fair enough. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. I'll, I'll admit it when I'm wrong. Oh, God. I was wrong just there. Bit too trigger-happy with the time warp. There's a beautiful, beautiful picture of so on. Let us wait for the thing to circleize, because this kind of form I'm doing doesn't lend itself to time warping very well. So let's just try and blast our way through as fast as we can. So we're going to set the target as the man, drag that out, but boom, right, and then we just spin it. Now we want to be aiming for an equatorial orbit. Because the that's how we're gonna that's how we would orbit through the Mun Arch based on its orientation. I know there's more than one arch, but I only know the location of one of them. Oh god, I can't see anything. I can't even see what my Manuno is doing. Okay, I can see it better now. Okay. I, I was dragging the wrong nose. Whatever, it's it's horribly inefficient, but it's probably fine. Let's just go with that. I look like a mess, don't I? <laughs> right. Oh, first things first, let's uh, do a quick save. And then we'll deploy the solar panels. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so we begin our burn. Luckily, the, uh, is it the Rhino has quite a good gimbal. So we can overcome our yeet sign. It can yeet us, it can yeet us to the mun. Oh, oh, I shouldn't even know the word yeet exists. I blame you guys 
for keeping me up to date with memes. Just let me grow old and out of touch. <laughs> Even though I, I feel like there's... I hope people understand the irony of you. I've been using the yeet sign. <laughs> okay. Oh, God! Okay, it's fine. So I'm going for a rough equatorial orbit and we'll finish it off kind of properly once we're there. Again, it's going to be hard knowing exactly how to plan my maneuver accurately until we're there. I only roughly know where the arch even is. Like, I know kind of where it is. 40 is fine. So all we're going to do is get into a parking orbit. And then we'll send down the scout. Because honestly, it's so hard. Because A, because of the draw distance of this game. It's very, very hard to get a mun arching. Oh! This is not a good start, is it? Okay, guys, we made it to the, uh... <laughs> made it to the mum. So, we'll detach the lander. Oh my goodness, golly. Golly gosh. If memory serves me correctly, the mun arch is... Uh... Oh my gosh. It's this crater here, I think, or I guess, I suppose. So we'll wait, like, a couple more orbits. Uh, uh this is burn. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, good, that was, that was a little bit... A little bit of power. I know that this thing doesn't actually record, need to get back to orbit, so I'm not too worried about being wasteful with fuel here. Now, does anyone see the arch? Leave a comment below if you see it. There it is. There it is. Sorry guys, I didn't need you. Fat load of use you were. Now... We've got so much fuel, what I'll do is I'll just land. And then we'll just do a quick hop over to the arch. Oh my god! There it is. So there, there you are, for those that have never seen a mud arch before, now you know what it looks like. Oh my god! Bloody hell. Time warp is just ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, now we're going to do some gentle, gentle move. This is what I suck at in KSP, among other things, right? But it's like flying, like, in for a specific target. I love how I say that, I, even though I have a series in which I rescue Kerbals, which revolves around having to land at specific targets, but I hope you get the, the gist of it right. Oh. No. Beautiful. And is that pretty much central? I think it might be. Arch mark. Uh, well, <laughs> probe is fine, I guess. Okay, now we get to the fun and excitement of this video, uh, and, and the challenge that it entail, and that this video is designed to showcase. <sighs> Why do people even... I'm gonna set that as a target. Wouldn't it be, like, really anticlimactic if I just nailed it straight away? I mean, if anything, that'd be a good idea because people. I I think people now think that I, I'm really bad at KSP because of how hard I found it to fly underneath the R&D bridge. And the difference is right is that first of all, I never ever ever fly aircraft like that, so I'm naturally not going to be very good at it. And also, I did play it up a little bit. And also, I'm wearing sunglasses and a hat and trying to perform to camera at the same time. To varying levels of success, as you guys will probably let me know in the comments. It's okay, Kerbals love space. At least my Kerbals are used to it. If anything, it's Stockholm Syndrome at this point.
That's fine. Maybe. We're going to make a quick save here and see if we can get away with one more orbit. Oh, beautiful. I'd say that's about as close as we can get. So, everything is deployed. The camera is set. What we're going to do is this, actually. We're going to do camera tools, target stuff. I'll make a quick save. I'll see if I can make a quick save just before we um, uh, pass through. And then we can watch it in like beautiful cinematic mode. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, where is it? Sorry, we can swing around a little bit. So that is our target. I am very excited, guys, about this. I've, I've actually never done this before. So you probably want to overshoot a little bit because it is going to rotate, but it won't rotate by much. I wouldn't have thought. So let's go try this. Quick save 14. Uh, so we want to probably aim radial out. No, we don't. We want to aim. We ideally want to aim, aim prograde, just so that we have a nice cinematic station look. Okay. So, quick save 15 is around the number to So let's just let's just go. Our first attempt, guys. Of hopefully less than 120. Oh, okay, right. So this is where we're at. We need to. Then a little bit this way. Probably need to be a bit more. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Hey, come on though, it's a first attempt. Oh yeah, I forgot about the stupid glitching that happens in this game. When two vessels get in it. Well, come on. That was a pretty good start. Let's quickly reload that. And I might even delete the marker so we don't get the graphical glitches. Right, so what went wrong? We had to go a little bit more this way. I feel like the altitude was actually quite good. Oh, too much, too much. Quick. What are you doing? Oh, it's burning relative to the... <laughs> this looks so dumb. Okay, this was terrible. Go on, Sam. Oh, too much. Oh, mate! That would have been so good if it didn't fail. Story of my life, really. <laughs> so we overcooked that direction a bit. So let's try just being better at the game. I'm feeling confident. This is looking good. Yes. Yes. Damn. Come on though. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? So we got the orientation right. How far away? I feel like... I don't really know how far away we were. Just. <laughs> what happens if we just left it untouched? Like, how far are we realistically going to miss it by? Quite a bit. What we're going to do is it. we're going to reload quick say 50 and then just take out the target. Because I feel like we're not actually using it and it's just messing up that, that stupid lighting glitch that didn't used to exist. Squad, please fix. Oh, I think it's an engine issue, but still. Uh, arch mark is gone. Space Station Alpha and Archway, whatever we call it, is I've run out of water. I mean vodka. I mean water, please don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so we should be better. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> A new foe presents itself, clearing that thing. And then we actually want to kill off our speed initially, and then we can get a higher approach later on. Oh my god, that was far too quick with the time warp. This is a recurring theme. You guys can see this now, you're actually watching me unedited, is how much I mess up because I'm too impatient with time warp. Now where is that? Where's that bombing arch? I'm gonna make it.
Oh my god. <laughs> well, it was a pretty terrible go. Oh! Damn. Getting a bit ambitious. Hello there. Let's just let's just get some speed. Oh my god, KSP, I hate how it just changes the camera every time. Why is the free camera not just the default? Because everything else sucks. Sorry, I got a bit passionate there. Yes. Hooray! So now we've got the flyby. Well, actually, let's make sure we can clear this ridge, which we, we can. Now, see, I've made so many quick saves for a reason, because now we can get some cool camera tool shots, I hope. <laughs> oh, come on, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, I'll tell you what would be funny, Am. This is like literally how I entertain myself. I just like do something funny and then just like play around and get the shots. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I didn't really have a plan for what to do in this video other than just pass through the monarch. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. That no, we did it. We like orbited through the monarch. We did the thing. I feel like. I thought this would take longer. I thought this would be harder than it was, but I literally took me way longer to fly underneath the R&D bridge. Admittedly, I feel like that challenge is harder than this. Go on, Sam. Ah, whatever. I think we did it. Well, it was an easier challenge than I thought, but I hope you had fun nonetheless. Not a hula eyes that slyly hypnotize, they cast a spell right from the star. Deep within them lies a smile that never dies. Still and still, my love, that's all my heart.